Now I am going to discuss the terms related to refraction of light. In the diagram, we have two transparent medium. One is air and other is water. And this is the boundary separating the two mediums. Okay. There are some terms associated with the refraction of light. Here the first term is incident ray. Incident ray is the light ray incident on the boundary separating the two medium. Okay. And uh, the light ray whose direction is towards the boundary is known as incident ray. Second term is point of incidence. The incident ray incident at a point on the boundary. Here this point is O. So O is the point of incident. Okay. Third term is refracted ray. Refracted ray is the light ray in the second medium. Okay. And uh, the direction of refracted ray is away from the boundary. Okay. The fourth term is normal. Normal is the line which is perpendicular to the boundary. Okay. Here this green line is the normal at the point of incidence. Okay. Always draw the normal at the point of incidence. Normal is a very important line because this is a reference line. All the angles are measured from this line. Okay. So this is very important. Now next term is angle of incidence. So as I have told you all the angles are measured from this normal line. This is the reference line. So angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal. So here this is the angle of incidence I. Now the last term is angle of refraction. The angle of refraction is the angle between the normal and the refracted ray. So this is the angle of refraction R. Okay. So these are the terms associated with the refraction of light. So note it down. And uh, you see in the diagram this dashed line. This dashed line is the, the path of incident ray in the second medium. Okay. So this is the path of incident ray in the second medium this dash line okay so this line is also important because uh, this line shows that uh, how much the refracted ray is deviated okay from its original path